Hello and welcome to MG Tracy. So as you know, one of my favorite things is vacuum cleaners. A big thank you to the folks at Musu who have sent me their latest cordless vacuum. Now this is a, a mid-range price vacuum. Um, this is a powerful vacuum. It's got the HEPA filter. It has a lot of features that you'll see on the Dyson. You've got the LED turbo motorized floor brush, which is great news. Uh, you've got an easy to replace battery which is something Dyson seem to be putting on their next range of vacuums at the moment you have to unscrew the battery on the Dyson which is a very pain particularly if you've got a big house and you want to do two so that's really good another key thing is you have got this four stage HEPA filter that is really important to me I'm an asthmatic and we live here with two twins who are very messy so uh, I'm vacuuming a lot and to have a HEPA filter is very very important another amazing thing with this little powerful lightweight vacuum is you get a 24 month warranty okay so let's delve into the box and we'll see how it compares to the Dyson So it's all very nicely packed. It's always exciting you know, getting out a new toy. Oh wow, look at that. That is really something special. I really love that. I don't know why that is, but I'm drawn to the, the fans there. That makes me think of the turbine on, on a jet aircraft. I love the design of it. The red is terrific as well. And it is, it is lightweight. Here's the other most important bit of the vacuum. Yeah, don't forget to take off your bits of packaging and that. And that also is a high gloss finish. Very, very nice. And the last little bit here is your way to dock it on a wall if you want to do that. Okay, so let's put this together and put it through its paces. So this is charging the battery. And you can see it comes out of about 75% charge, but it's always worth the first time just topping these batteries right up to full. So very simple to empty the bin. You're just popping that off there. Okay, so you can flick your switch there, which will undock the canister if you need to get at the heat filter. And then that just clicks back in there. One of the nice things about this, the trigger is pull once for on and then pull once they're off. So unlike the Dyson, you haven't got to have your finger constantly on the trigger all the time. So I really like that. So you just hit the middle button there and the stick doubles in size. So if you have it short, that's great obviously for stairs. If you're trying to do rooms, etc., then this length is uh, ideal. And here's your motorized head. And like all these sorts of units, you just need to make sure if you have got someone in your house or a pet with long hairs, and if they do start to build up on the drum here, then you just need to remove those. Remember to release your battery. That's this one here. And stop your battery. Just click it in and you're ready to go. Now you've got another little button here at the back, so you've got normal mode, which is super quiet. I mean, you do have a high power mode if you've got a particular dirty area. It just clicks in there and you've got a release button when you want to take it apart. And that just simply clips in there. And again, the first thing you notice is just how quiet that is. And we've got a little bit of noise that's coming from the built-in motor as well as the motor that's doing the donkey work at the top there. And another great feature on here, which is going to be added to the next Dyson, is you've got lights on the front. And actually you'll find when you are cleaning around the corners of the house with carpets or under sofas, it's really useful. With a twinge you end up sucking up some of their toys or some of their jigsaws that have gone underneath the sofa. So it's simple, but having those LEDs at the front is really good. Now we've had the girls here today and I've, this room is Dysoned twice a day and I've just quickly run over that, just part of it and you can see it's already picked up 
a lot of stuff. So if we put the Musu next to Dyson, overall dimensions very similar. The Musu because of the sort of vertical rather than horizontal uh, collection chamber is slightly shorter. The battery is slightly smaller, uh, the filter system is slightly smaller and the head is slightly smaller. But what we're going to remember here is the price of the Musu uh, against the 600 odd pound of the Dyson V11 Absolute in the UK. So you're looking at a vacuum that's around five times the price. Is the Dyson worth five lots of the Musu? No, I don't think so. They both are very adequate at picking up normal household dust and with heap of filters, people like me, the asthmatics of the world, we don't have to worry. So please like, share and subscribe and come back every day for more fun here on MG Tracy. If you're interested in buying this, then the links are below in my description box. You have a great day.